These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark Z via PDK comment. I hear they're moving forward within 10 days. Mark Z says, I was told their goal is by the 20th, but I could live with 10 days by the end of February. Mark Z says, my gut is screaming. We will see this in the month of February based on the number of requests to keep us quiet and the banking anticipation. And a number of sources say we could get it by the 20th now. I think it is done and we are just waiting on them to release it. My contacts in Iraq are telling me this as well as bankers and government contacts. Things are screaming at us that we are close. Militiaman says Iraq is a border country with Kuwait. Iraq is considerably larger than Kuwait. They have massive amount of oil liquid, natural gas, gold, some of the biggest mineral deposits in the world that Kuwait does not have. You have to ask, why did they bring this up? Article quote, the Kuwaiti dinar ranked on the throne of currencies in the world for the year of 2024, while the U.S. dollar came in last place on the list of 10 strongest global currencies. The dinar of the Gulf state is divided into 1,000 smaller units known as fills. Militiaman goes on to say Iraq does not have fills. They are going to be talking about fills because why? Because al Sadani has stated that the dinar is stronger than the dollar. They're going to need to be able to make change. When they bring this up with Iraq's situation, I think they're doing it in a manner that suggests the region can support Iraq having a strong currency stronger than the dollar. All right, Pimpy says, Miss Plaschart, you and special envoy for Iraq. She's another subject of rumors that are going around the Dinar community. that She's getting ready to step down because she's no longer needed because they're about to change the exchange rate and the sanctions are getting ready to be lifted off. That's not the case. That's also false. Frank 26, the CBI is not calling them lower denoms. They're calling them lower notes. They also explain the need for fractional banking through the coins they will be giving them. They're not using the word fractional banking with the citizens, but they are telling them they will be able to get change so they will not lose money. Mark Z via PDK, the Central Bank of Iraq, uh, decides to restore the mechanism of financing foreign trade to Iraq starting next March. And that was an article quote. Mark Z says, when they say next March, they mean this March of 2024. What does this mean? This is all about foreign currencies and international acceptance. We have been looking for some of these announcements, and now we are getting them. They want to strengthen the dinar. This is really great. This is all about international trade and movement of money. All right, Claire has an article, quote, uh, Parliament hosts the governor and officials of the central bank regarding sanctions on Iraqi banks. Walking Stick says the government of Iraq is soon to receive the funding for everything that is waiting for a new international exchange rate, for everything the world is waiting for, for what you are waiting for, for what the Iraqi citizens are desperately in need of. All right, Breitling says the reality is these guys, Iraq, have more customers. They're selling it at more per barrel, but somehow they have to make sure they're using their sovereign policy for their currency, their sovereignty monetary policy. That's what it's all about. If you can believe that, then invest in the Iraqi dinar. If you don't believe that, then buzz off. It's that simple. All right, Pimpy says sanctions on banks. That's not good. That's the thing about the new reform to the banking system. Are able to track what people are doing. Pimpy provides an article quote. This is the U.S. Treasury Department will include new Iraqi banks on the sanctions list unless the Central Bank of Iraq finds solutions to them. Most of the banks transferred large amounts of dollars to Iraqi and Iranian Revolutionary Guard. You think Iraq is going to be able to increase their exchange rate if they can't stop the U.S. dollar from being sent over to Iran? More sanctions on Iraq is only going to hurt them, so it's going to get worse before it gets better. Mark ZV PDK from Iraq, a, an article quote, an economist warns of the U.S. Treasury policy with Iraq. Mark Z says these sanctions are affecting the value of the dinar, which would be higher if it were not 
for the U.S. games with banking, and people are upset. They want them out. There is tremendous pressure right now to get the U.S. out of Iraq. Frank 26 question, do we have our currency for over a year? Frank 26 says, for tax purposes, yeah. If you have your currency for at least one year, you're in about the 20% tax bracket. If you've had it for less than one year and you exchange it, you're in about the 40%. If you've had it for one year and you don't have a receipt, you're in the 40%. If you've had it for one year and you got a receipt, you're in the 20%. Uh, and just a note, some gurus feel the dinar exchange will be taxed as capital gains. Others feel ordinary income, and others believe that it's not taxed at all. The only opinion that matters is the IRS's, so consult a tax professional at the appropriate time to determine the right tax for your unique circumstance. All right, Claire has an article, quote, Parliamentary Economy Banned Banks Constitute 50% of Private Banks in Iraq. And lastly, Mark Z via PDK question, any chatter from RV centers? Mark Z says, I know my RV center folks are planning to be on call this weekend. 